Hey there folks, Joey D'Angelo's here with another episode of Silent Film Saturday, and today I'm discussing King Vidor's show people. Yes, show people. The Marion Davies, William Haynes, it's a 79 minute runtime, and this package is from the Warner Archive. It's a bare bones disc basically. But the fact that we have this on DVD is kind of cool. So that has been acknowledged, and it has its original score on the disc. So basically the film is a little something like this. You have our main lead, she is an actress, um, she's an aspiring actress from Georgia, and she starts out in comedy, she hates comedy, William Haynes is a, kind of like her, like, her partner throughout those times, and then she becomes really popular and gets accepted to another major studio and becomes a more dramatic actress, something that she's always wanted to do, and then, you know, she gets, fame gets to her head, her movies aren't as good anymore, according to audiences. A lot of things kind of happen. So, in this movie, you have Marion Davies and William Haynes. But in addition to that, before I begin, there's a lot of celebrity cameos. You have John Gilbert, who was in our episode last week, the show. Uh, you have Douglas Fairbanks, Charlie Chaplin, William S. Hart. It's just a lot of cameos, especially in this one sequence where you literally pan and you see um, an, almost an MGM best of at the table. You're right, Adore, you know, all these people just sitting at the table. Just, okay, cool. You know, um, so that's a lot of fun to see in the movie, just to point out all those cameos. Like, oh, look, it's John Gilbert. Oh, it's Douglas Fairbanks. You know, that's kind of neat. Uh, another thing I like to mention about the movie is that there's a couple performances I really liked. I love Marion Davies in the film. She's really really funny, but also was able to handle the dramatic moments in the film. Uh, she's really sells being like a young, aspiring actress in the very beginning. It's very, she's very charming. Uh, the first half of the film is very charming. You know, uh, William Haynes, I think, is a pretty solid leading man in this movie. He works. Um, he doesn't do a whole lot, but I think he does what he needs to do. Harry Grippen, who played the cop in The Cameraman, the Buster Keaton film, plays a comedic director in this film, and I think, for me, he's the best part of the movie. His facial expressions are just so weird, and whenever he's laughing or reacting to something, it's priceless. Just, I love those moments. The second half of the film is where things, I, I kind of lose interest, and I don't know. It was just the first half just going pretty strong, and it's just like, oh, of course she's famous now. The It's kind of very generic at the end, but it doesn't mean it's bad. It's just, I was kind of, I kind of lost interest at the end of the film, even though it was still pretty good. So, the only other King Vidor film I've seen thus far was The Big Parade, which I reviewed a long time ago on this channel. I love that movie. And I honestly probably prefer that one over this if I was talking about King Vidor movies, and I hope to review some more in the future. But overall, if you like seeing cameos of silent film stars, um, you like charming love stories about Hollywood, the gl you know, glamour, the glitz, you know, Marion Davies is very good in this movie. You should check it out. I Maybe, you know, dvr on TCM, I wouldn't pay a lot of money to get this on disc, unless you really love the movie, then you probably already have it on DVD. So, next time, I'm reviewing the Sergei Eisenstein film, Strike. See you guys next time.